Hey guys, it's Heather here, and this video is going to be your ultimate guide to clan or matchmaking as it is in the game right now. Now this is based on some feedback from the Clash team. It's mainly based on what we've been seeing in our 13 Kingdom clans and the changes and what's been impacted since the October 2016 update. And I'm gonna give you my best theories about what is happening in the game and by applying these theories, how we've been able to help improve our clan war matchups and hopefully present this in a way that makes sense to you so you can kind of understand what's going on. I questioned in my last video if engineering was dying. It's not the fact that people engineer an account or a clan that anyone has a problem with. The problem is, is that those engineers gain an advantage when they do so. So what's important is to get the information out there to the community about how to lessen the advantage the engineer clans have. We're always going to face clans that are lopsided in one way or another, whether they're engineered or rushed. People can play however they want to, but what I'm talking about is ending the engineer's war advantage. Now the biggest deterrent to ending that advantage is the 0.5 rut. You have been force fed by everyone, including me, that 0.5 is the absolute best way to go. And you and your clan continue to do it because even though you are being outmatched defensively every single war, you will not drop your expos, your infernos and eagle for fear that means you only bring in even more bases with high defenses. Instead of moving away from that 0.5 and becoming more balanced, you become even more lopsided, waiting until your heroes are 25-25 before you even drop your first expo, despite every Town Hall 9 on the enemy's side having max expos every war. The biggest disadvantage your clan has in clan war matchmaking is to run 0.5 bases towards the top of your roster. Now you can carry some 0.5s down below, but if you put those 0.5s towards the top, it means you're likely being outmatched every war. Now I know you want to believe that 0.5 is the fair and right way to play, and you'll argue that with me, that this is the way the game should be played, but it's clear that the developers see you as lopsided. 0.5 has always been about gaining an advantage in the war matchup for your clan, but it's clearly no longer an advantage and hopefully by the end of this video, you will understand why you are at such a major disadvantage in war matches by running 0.5 bases. A key thing to notice with engineered clans is they do not run engineered bases all through their roster. If they are, they're doing it wrong. The top of the roster is maxed out balanced bases. And that's one of the biggest mistakes clans who are stuck in the 0.5 rut do. They run those 0.5 accounts in top positions. You cannot do that and expect a fair match. A 0.5's adjusted weight is going to make them carry the weight of an eagle, infernos, and expos, but they won't have them and they'll be easily three star by the other clan. Let's talk about how the value of your base is determined. Now we have two insights for determining our base's defensive weight. The first is to take the amount of gold offered to the enemy clan during war day, or you can also find this out by having someone scout your base as a friendly challenge. And what you do is you take the amount of gold in all of your gold storages, plus the gold in the town hall, and you add that all together. These are the common weight numbers we're used to hearing. For example, a Town Hall 11 war weight determined by gold is 109,000, or we would say 109. The other value we have for defensive weight is if you add up everything for a Town Hall 11 using some published data mining, a max Town Hall 11 defensive weight is closer to 132,000. So there appears to be a gold cap and the numbers don't exactly correlate. Now for offense, we don't have anything in the game that's telling us our attack weight. By looking at the data mining that's been done, the offensive weight for a max Town Hall 11 is about 41,000. So you're thinking, is this the reason the engineers are doing so well? Because defense is worth over three times that of offense? Nope, not at all. These are just numbers. We don't have the equation. We have no idea what other values are being applied to these numbers. In the past, defense was taken into account more than offense, but we know now that they're more equal. So if they're equal, to give yourself a good estimate for offense correlated to defense, then times the weight of each offense by 3.25. 
five, but then realize that even by doing so, that doesn't mean you have the correct weight for those buildings. Each building could have its own modifier applied to it. The Archer Queen could have a 4.5 modifier, the Barbarian King only a 2.0 modifier, Infernals could be a 5x modifier, Mortars a 0.5 modifier, but if we were to assume that they all had the same modifier, then maxing out your Lava Hounds, Balloons, and Bowlers alone would be enough weight to your offense to balance out a level one eagle artillery. But that's just the start. Once those scores of defense and attack strength are determined, there are multiple adjustments that take place on those scores to determine what your actual value is. You can't hide your potential base value by neglecting certain defenses or offensive upgrades. To make it simple, I'm just going to call all these different adjustments being done a bases adjusted weight. The algorithm takes these imbalances and adjusts them. We can see that clearly from what's happening in the game. We don't know by how much things are being adjusted, but the adjustments are tweaked every update. So maybe in October, you start to notice the first wave of adjustments being done to affect point fives and engineers. Maybe in December, you notice that turned up another notch. And I can see these balancing of bases to continue until those who are running point fives and engineer bases have a clear disadvantage in matchups. Let's visualize what I believe is currently going on with base value calculations. If you put your defense on the X axis and your offense on the Y axis, you can draw a line at 45 degrees up through the center and have a visual for where a balanced offense and defense is. And for the sake of keeping everything really simple, let's just say a max offense in the game is 110 after its modifier. And the defense is 110 as well, 110,000, but we'll just say 110. Now, now what the adjustments are trying to do is pull your weight as close to that 45 degree center line as possible. This is my theory of what's happening right now. And this is precisely why we are finding 0.5 clans at a greater disadvantage to engineered clans. Take a Town Hall 11 max offense at 110 with a defense of 90. Combine defense and offense is 200. Now, if that adjustment modifier to balance your base weight was 50% of the difference, then the difference between the offense and the defense is 20 times 50%, which equals 10. This would then be added back to your score and give you an adjusted weight of 210. A modifier like this would cause the base to carry the weight of a max eagle without building it. This Town Hall 11 is at a great disadvantage to a Town Hall 11 who has built their eagle and kept their offense closer to their defense, and in doing so has little to no adjustment modifier being added to balance them out. Now let's apply the same theory to an engineer Town Hall 11 who has a max offense of 110, but a defense of a max Town Hall 9, so 70. The difference is 40, 50% 50 of that is 20. You add that back on and this engineered Town Hall 11 has an adjusted weight of only 200. If this theory is true, and this is why I believe engineers are outmatching 0.5s, that would put that base at 200,000, which is 10,000 less than our hypothetical 0.5 base. 10,000 is the weight of a Max Eagle or Inferno that's basically being given to that engineer clan to put wherever they want. Let's say the balancing adjustment was 75%. That would put the 0.5 at a 215 total weight and this engineered at a 210. The advantage difference is a level one eagle. Any changes that might be done to that modifier to increase the amount of percentage that it throws back in is going to mean it's even more important to make sure that you're balanced out, especially if they start doing things where there's ranges to the modifiers. So that means that the greater out of balance your offense and defense are, the greater the adjustment to that percentage will be. I don't believe there's any variable to the amount of adjustment in the game right now. And that's precisely why I see those 0.5s having such a rough time in the matchup. Yes, I do believe that both 0.5s and engineers have been nerfed, but 0.5s have definitely take the brunt of it so far. Now going back to these hypothetical Town Hall 11 bases, yes, a max Town Hall 10 defense is going to be harder to three than a max Town Hall 9 defense, but when you start adding up base after base of advantages towards engineers over the point fives, it adds up quickly. All those 8.5s and 9.5s are adding up. You get enough of those 0.5 adjustment disadvantages and that starts to give weight allocations for Eagles and Infernos on the other side. 
So now that I've covered what's going on with the individual bases, let's talk about matching clan to clan. Now it should be pretty clear that entire clans are matched as an entire clan. Matching is not done by taking all the clans in the pool and finding a clan that matches each base down the list. People are always talking about their mirrors in Clan Wars and it doesn't exist. There's no such thing as mirrors. There's nothing in the matching that goes out there and finds a clan where your number 20 is the same as their number 20. Your number ranking on your clan war map is your defensive ranking in relation to your own clan. It has nothing to do with the other clan. It doesn't take into account your offense or your adjusted weights or who is closest to your base on the other side. So the base that's actually closest to you in your same weight could be 10 bases above your number or 10 bases below the same number on the enemy map. Likely there isn't a base on the enemy clan that is actually your mirror. And if your base isn't balanced and you're lopsided either towards being offense or defensive heavy, what you're bringing into the clan weight for a matchup is likely a base that's much higher than you on the enemy side. In addition, remember your clan level and your player trophy levels have absolutely nothing to do with who you match up against. If you're a level one clan, you're going to match up with level 10 clans just as easily as you would match up with other level one clans. So let's dive into the clan war match algorithm theories. Your clan will have an overall weight, which is an adjusted weight. So like I said, even though you may have an offensive weight of 110 and a defensive weight of 90, your adjusted weight may put you somewhere around 210 and that's the number that's going to be used. Your adjusted offensive weight would stay maxed at 110. Your adjusted defensive weight would bump up to 100. So the matchmaking is trying to find a clan whose adjusted weight is closely aligned with yours. And it's not just taking overall score, but also looking at your clan's offense versus the enemy's defense and your clan's defense versus their offense. Because that's what really matters, right? Does your clan have an offense that can take on the enemy's defense? It's also going to look at other factors, but some factors matter more than others and some factors matter more or less depending on the longer your war surge goes on. Another thing we know is the war matchmaking algorithm is going to look at the top of the roster and try and match those bases and weights more closely. And that's likely done by a percentage of bases in the war. So if 20% is considered the top bases, then in a 10 versus 10, it would look at the top two bases. And in a 50 versus 50, it would look at the top 10. So maybe in the beginning of a clan war match search, it's trying to find a clan with an overall match difference of 20 points for your clan, but only a five point difference in the top 20% of the bases. And as the search starts out, the number difference variance is going to be really small, but the longer the search goes on, the more those parameters will expand and try and find a match. The problem with restarting your clan match every few minutes is that there's also a queuing system. So even if your clan has an overall weight of, let's just say an arbitrary number of 100, and another clan starts the war search with 101 weight, they might get matched up with someone with 105 weight because that's within the parameters and that clan has been waiting longer. Hopefully this is giving you some idea about just how complex clan war matchmaking likely is, but more importantly, take into account all the feedback from the players and how moving away from a 0.5 to a balanced base has greatly improved the fairness of their war matches. We found this to be true throughout the clans in the kingdom where we were being outmatched every single war until we started moving players away from this 0.5 mentality and we still have a ways to go too. Again, this is not going to prevent you from matching engineer clans. They're still there in the match pool. They're going to be there for a long time. They have to match somebody. But balancing out your bases is going to give you a much more equal footing with them, especially if the trend continues and we find in future updates that they're going to target those engineers on lopsided bases even more significantly and give an even greater penalty. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. So if you have any questions, be sure to leave a comment down below or shoot me a tweet on Twitter. Be sure to follow me there. If you like this video, be sure to like it. And if you love it, make sure you subscribe to me. I'm definitely going to be coming back at you again with even more insight into things that are going on with clan war matching and with different defense and attack strategies for Clash of Clans. In the meantime, if you need any help with your Clash of Clans game, be sure to join my Discord room. The link to it is in the description down below. It's a chat room that's full of a lot of great people who are willing to help you out with your defense and attack strategies for Clash of Clans. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.